Hey guys, Gabe here. Um, something I wanted to address uh, because I've seen it a lot today um, and I see it occasionally pop up throughout the uh, twin flame like consciousness is what if I have a false twin flame? And I wanted to, you know, I, I see people come in and they're like, oh my God, what if he's a false twin flame? How do I tell? Like, I want to give up if it's, I don't want a false twin flame. And trust me, I've been there. I had a lot of like, you know, I had a lot of fear, especially in like just throughout my journey that the person I thought was my twin flame who ended up being my false twin flame was my false twin flame. And I was like, nope, I'm not gonna have a false twin flame. And I tried like very hard to like convince myself it wasn't real and it wasn't happening to me and everybody else could have one, but not me. And, you know, I used a lot of justifications and I've seen those from uh, people you know, as well, like say, no, like it's not a false twin flame because I see his name everywhere. I, you know, I have like signs that have co confirmed it and da, 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 I just know. <laughs> and let me tell you that I felt that way too about my false twin flame. I saw his name everywhere. I saw, um, you know, all the signs and I was like, if he's truly my twin flame, can he, like, can I get like three penguins you know, by X and X time. Got them every time. Oh, ask the pendulum. Oh, ask the cards. And a lot of times I would get confirmations. And, you know, I was like, yep, yep, he's my true twin flame. He's my true twin flame. I even had times where like I had done some inner work and he showed up at my door. This happened twice. And I was like, okay, so clearly that's a sign that he actually is my twin flame. I'm going in the right direction. And this is like, this is correct. However, I wasn't actually seeing any changes in like his behavior with me. Um, and obviously I'm a dude, so <laughs> yeah, there's a lot, just a lot of denial going on there for me. But, um, but you know, there's a point to your false twin flame like situation and a lot of them seem really real. If you didn't think that they were real, it wouldn't be a false twin flame. You'd be like, okay, yeah, this is not my twin flame. Um, a false twin flame like mirrors you a lot, just uh, very similarly to a true twin flame. They won't mirror you 100%, but they will mirror you um, a lot of the blocks that you would have if you had met your twin flame. Uh, not talking to yourself was one for me, not really like seeing my true self, not feeling my feelings, all these things, my false twin flame was mirroring to me. And I had to move through a lot of those things, all those things before I could see myself clearly, before I could see that he wasn't my twin flame. And for a long time, like I, you know, I was like, oh no, I'm afraid he's not my twin flame. I'm afraid he's not my twin flame. And it would just trigger me so badly. And that's because like, I already knew in my heart of hearts. And so do you, everyone like is, you know, comes to earth already knowing their, their true twin flame because they were created with their true twin flame. You know yourself, you know your twin flame at your core, even if you don't know them consciously. And so like, yeah, I guess I want to say, I gotta keep my my voice lubricated as I'm still in the process of it changing. Um, <clears throat> but you know, I just wanted I just want to make sh I just want to like hopefully bring some comfort to you guys, like not I and also like some like realistic, you know, just some truth, <laughs> like um, because you know. It can be very tempting to just double down and say like, if this person is not my twin flame, then I don't want any part of it. And, um, you know, or, you know, I don't want to have a twin flame or a false twin flame. I'm afraid, to ha I'm afraid to have a false twin flame. I was there. I understand. It does like, you know, it can cripple you of like, oh my God, I'm afraid. I'm afraid. I'm afraid. But what's actually crippling you is like your attachment to that person. And that's why on this journey, we're asked to have, you know, radical non-attachment because, you know, God may lead you in a direction just for the purpose of healing, just for the purpose of you recognizing and loving yourself. And that doesn't mean that like you were tricked or that you were lied to. Oftentimes you lie to yourself like I did. And, you know, it's not to blame or not to say like, oh, you should feel bad for lying to yourself there. Like, 
there's no there's no judgment like you you did what you needed to do to you know protect yourself to love yourself in the way that you thought was appropriate and that's okay um and that's what i did i was like nope nope he's my he's my true twin flame he's my true twin flame even though i was just like denying it left and right um and in my heart of hearts i knew um and you know it, it felt really scary and it felt like you know if it's not this person i i just give up but what i found is like what god has planned for you is way better than what you can dream up for yourself if you have someone who you think is a false twin flame or maybe you are on the fence you don't know yet you know that's okay it's okay to go all the way there and see you know go as far as you can love them completely honestly when i told my false twin flame that i loved him unconditionally and i would love him forever blah 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 that was the moment that i was completely blocked never heard from him again and then like a month or two later brianna and i came into union it's you know you going all the way loving something all the way through where god leads you and then you transcend it and if you don't transcend it and they are your twin flame you go deeper into love you come into union it's a it's an exercise in really trusting yourself trusting god trusting the process and you know knowing that whatever god has for you is like a bajillion times better than like that person that you think is your twin flame that maybe isn't and you know you could say like no i know he's my true twin flame or i know she's my true twin flame i feel it in my heart good follow that feeling follow that feeling trust your heart go as far as you can with it do the mirror exercise continue your healing continue loving yourself just detach from it having like it has to be them and it has to happen this way and it needs to look this way. Let go of that because that like clinching that like I have to have it this way is control. And maybe you can get your way by control, but when you get there, you won't be happy because you didn't do it with God and you may get what you wanted, but it may not actually have been what you wanted. Um, you know, you see this in um, movies and TV shows where it's like people clearly understand this concept underneath everything of like you push and push and push and push and push. And I think soul that like not to like spoil anything. So if you haven't seen it, like, you know, maybe skip this part. But, you know, you push and push and push and push and push and you finally get the thing, the thing that you thought you wanted by controlling and getting yourself there. And then when you finally get it, you're like, that's it? Like, that's it? Like, the thing that I worked so hard for, that's it? And it's because you did it without God. Because you you went, you know, you, you did the thing, you got as far as you got, and you found out that it wasn't what you actually wanted. What you wanted was the joy. What you wanted was the peace that comes with God. And, you know, you can only have God by following where God leads you, by following that good feeling, by following your heart. And, you know, if, you, if you're like, oh, I'm not, I don't know like, if this person's my twin flame or not, doesn't matter. Doesn't matter if you have a false twin flame, doesn't matter if you have your true twin flame. The, the work is the same. You release attachment, you go within, and you claim them there because they're always right here. And, you know, trust that God like created you and knows exactly what you want trust that um you know that your journey is perfect for you because it is and you know the methods to get there are the same as far as like doing your inner healing you know loving yourself but your unique journey will be unique for you and you know you may have one or two false twin flames or maybe you'll have a false twin flame for a very short amount of time and then you'll get right into union like I did. Like it, There's no like set rule. Um, there's no set rule there of like it has to happen this certain way um, because God is writing it and you don't have the full picture. But um, it is better than you ever thought it would be. I promise you that because God is just exponentially greater than we can, you know, comprehend right now. Um, especially like being here on earth and being in like, you know, 
patterns of illusion and ego. We don't really fully see the love that God brings us. Um, and I just want to also give some hope that, you know, the love that you invest on your journey, whether it's, whether you find out you have a false twin flame or not, you know, that love is not wasted. That love is invested into you. That love is invested into your true, uh, true twin flame journey, you know, into your true twin flame union. And, you know, it's, it's an investment. The whole, everything you do to love yourself, to love your twin flame within, to, you know, better yourself on this journey is an investment in you and your union and it doesn't go anywhere. So, yeah, I hope, I hope that this gives, you know, Brianna's like sneaking in. I was like, what is he doing? Don't look at, don't, don't, do not turn that camera on me. Okay. I look not good. I need a shower. Okay. Well, I'm going to leave this in, <laughs> but yeah, um, I'm just talking about how having a false twin flame isn't necessarily a bad thing. Yeah, false twin flame. yeah like people like I want, yeah, you want to convince yourself that it's, you know, not real, that you're not, you're the only one, maybe not having a false twin flame. It happens mm -hmm. to everybody else, but it's not you. But mm -hmm. the truth is like God is leading you perfectly, mm -hmm. you know? Yeah, it's true. Yeah, I, I definitely still release you know pain around my false twin flame we're like almost a year into our union and yeah i still have stuff that comes up for sure it's it's definitely a journey <laughs> yeah it is a journey and it's like if you have a grieving process even like knowing your true twin flame like that's okay like it's okay that if you you know find yourself like it's oh essential. yeah it's essential to like grieve. grieve that um but a lot of that grief it comes from like attachments that you've had to like it had to be this person and you know when you um you know release those attachments when you like grieve and fully release your false twin flame truly release and surrender to what god wants to give you you'll like find peace you'll find like that the person that god has brought to you your true twin flame is everything that you actually desired and it may not look like that at first you're like maybe I downgraded, like, what the heck, like, what did I get? But, um, yeah, as you go deeper into loving yourself, your twin flame will go deeper into loving you and will reveal themselves more and more. Revealing is a process and it's a process that happens even into your union of revealing how perfect you are for each other. Brianna and I experience this every day of like, healing something new and then like I can't tell you the amount of times this week she's been like oh you look like such a man and finally I'm like recognizing you again and like it's really just like as I as we go deeper into our love we recognize each other more and more because we're becoming more of our true divine selves and so like you know it's okay to to grieve a false twin flame it's okay to have a false twin flame it's okay to move on you know, from your, uh, false twin flame. It's okay. Um, and if you have one right now or you're not sure, just go through the process. Trust. You will be okay. You will be safe. And like, you are safe, honestly, like you're never not safe when you're with God and you will find yourself coming home to you. Um, no matter what that looks like on the outside, it will feel the best, um, and better than you thought you know at least that was the case for me um you know it's at, at, at first it was just like oh wow well, like this isn't, isn't exactly what I thought I wanted um okay and then as I've gone deeper it's more than exceeded my expectations and that's why you let go of expectations because you know God will bring you what you actually desire yeah I feel like I've said that a couple times and I hope that like really sinks in that it's not a bad thing and you will be okay. It's safe. Um, but yeah, if you like this video, don't forget to like and subscribe for more content on this channel. If you'd like to work with us as Ascension coaches or you would like a reading, uh, you can find our services at sacredtwinflameunion.com and uh, otherwise we'll see you in the next video.